Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Guileen. Today we're going to have a look at Bases Loaded Lacquer's new collection called Netflix and Kill, based on Tara's favorite thing on TV, murder mysteries, true life crimes. Please enjoy the swatches and stay tuned to the end to see my own true life murder. This polish was sent to me for review. I am the brand ambassador. All the information's down below. All right, first up we have scalpel. It's kind of hard to say. It's harder than what you think. Scalpel, scalpel, scalpel. This one is the chrome silver that you saw on my fingers that you, everybody was asking me what it was. I had it on a couple videos. I love this polish. I did not want to take this one off. There's one coat. It is beautiful. Now with regular polishes, I generally do do three coats. Or if um, I do something different, I'll tell you. This one, two coats was plenty. I did try to stamp with it. And it does not stamp that great. I mean, it'll pick up, but it doesn't show up that great. Look at this. It's so pretty. I don't have a silver like this that actually looks this nice on the nails. I <laughs> have some silver that stamps, but there was my, did you like that? That was my scary little nail. All right, next up we have Luminol. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is absolutely, it's just amazing. It has, um, I, like I said, I'm going to put all the descriptions down below because I really suck at this kind of stuff. Um, but it is a black tint base, so, um, but it has so much like purple and blue multi-chrome in it. And then it's got, um, micro flakies and like rainbow stuff. It's so pretty. I do put three coats of this. And as you can see, I also have it on my nails. Loved this. And I show you, um, I'm going to show you some of my swatch pictures and after all of these so that you can see what it actually looks like, um, in daylight and in like low light. And then also the artwork I did, I'm not going to go through all the artwork, like showing you what I did. I'm just going to show you swatch pictures. So you can see and it has a, like a purple reflect to it. And there it is, matte. Oh, so pretty. And there is macro. And here's a little stuff I did with some black light and white stamping polish. Just to make it a little creepy. Next up we have Soul Beneficiary. And this one is like a green tint. Um, it's a, it's a black crelly like base, as you can see, but then it has, um, red micro flakies and gold green copper shifting flakes. Um, it really reflects a lot of green and I don't think that you can see that in the swatches or even, I mean, I don't know. I, I got really aggravated because I couldn't, what I am seeing is not coming across on the camera. So I got kind of aggravated with the pictures and stuff because it just wasn't looking like as green on the swatch as it did in life. Okay. Um, again, I put three coats on the clear pop stick. See, it just, I don't know, maybe it just does, it does look a tint green. But it looks pretty black on my nails there, I feel like. I turn on my flash so you can see all the sparkly. It's it's beautiful. I mean they all are. And you can see there in the with the uh, light on the bottle, the green showing a little better. Alright, no alibi. This one I was like, eh, it's pretty bad. And then I put it on. And it has such a gold like frost over the top of it. It's so cool. 
it is a magnetic but i really didn't feel like i got well i mean actually she didn't realize it was magnetic when she mixed it until she tried to order some more of the pigment and then she realized oh that's magnet but I mean, I don't know if any of the other girls that swatched it got a magnetic pull from it. I mean, I could see a little bit when I held the magnet on it that it kind of pulled out the kind of purpley color to it. But I mean, it didn't need the magnetic. I mean, I really don't buy any magnetic polishes that aren't gel because I never can get a very good pull at all out of a regular polish magnetic. Anybody else? I mean, it did make it glow a little bit. And there's three coats. I mean, it almost had a pearlescent glow to it. I didn't even read you the... I'm going to put all the descriptions down below. It was gorgeous matte, too. Next up, we have DNA. This one is more of a jelly. I feel like it's more of a topper myself. I did put three coats and then I put black behind it. So that's another good thing about these clear pop sticks. Um, it will build up, but I would say it's going to take almost four coats, but I make thin coats. I don't really load up that much and Terry yells at me for it. But, you know, I'm a gel girl. i got to make it thin. It did build up. And it's beautiful. But I think it would make um, better a topper. So you could put it over blue or black or purple. You can see all the flakies in it. In that swatch. Now, this. Ugh. <laughs> I don't usually wear just red. <laughs> this one. You'd be negative. Look at that. <laughs> One coat. It was like, oh. <laughs> Sorry for that one. I did put two coats on my nails and I did put two coats on the swatch day. You really didn't have to have two coats. Uh, it's such a beautiful red. It is blood red. AB negative. Now I did try to stamp with it also. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. I did try to stamp with it and it picked up nice and um, it looked good over white. Couldn't really see it that great over red, but I mean, it's passable for stamping polish over white. But it did make a clear stamp and it didn't like bleed um, when I top coated it. But you can see it picked up really clear. And these are going to be um, available October 29th. And they also come with a gift. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. And I'll also put all that information down below. And here it is with some stamping. And matte. I thought it would be terrible matte. But it was actually really pretty matte too. I thought, ooh, this is going to be gross matte, but it wasn't. But I'm a big fan of matte all the things, so. All right, last up we have Murder Mama. Now, when I was in Michigan, staying with Tara this summer, we worked on this. Uh, my daughter came up with the idea for Murder Mama, and she wanted something deep, dark, blood red that was sparkly and juicy. And Tara nailed this she came through on this because the one that we we tried to mix a couple and they were kind of eh. <laughs> but this one <laughs> this one's the the creme de la creme <laughs> of them all i didn't each one is like oh no this is my favorite no, this is my favorite but murder mama nailed it it is gorgeous and man, once you put that top coat on, it just glows. Look at that sparkle. 
It is a deep red jelly with copper and gold hollow micro glitters, jade purple shifting micro flakies. It's got all the goodness and more. And I think you could put that over like one coat of AB negative and then one coat of Murder Mama. Oh, I should have tried that. I probably will. It is just so pretty. And I try to get some outside pics for you too. So you can see a natural light. What little I had out here. There is a gift with purchase. So um, she made a little deal with Jennifer at L3 Waxy Wonder. And if you haven't got any L3 Waxy Wonders, you are definitely missing out. But um, she is giving three piece wax samplers, one ounce of dry Belux dry oil, scented dry oil. Oh, I am addicted to this stupid dry oil now. I've got, I even got my husband addicted to it. He stole one of my bottles of it. It is a uh, different scent. It's amazing. Um, actually, they have the one scent that he took is the only kind of like cologne smell I'll allow him to wear because I hate men's cologne. Um, also, there's going to be a mini acetone addict additive from Ribbit Stickets. And I actually have one that I've had for a while that I use. Um, whenever I mix up a little acetone to do cleanup in my little cup, I put a couple of drops of this in it. You can also, I think one of these, um, you squirt in an entire bottle of, I don't know what the mix is of acetone. So I um, don't use it to clean your plates with though. Only use it for your fingernails for cleanup. That's why I like using these on a brush. I just put some acetone in there and put a few drops of the additive. It makes it smell better and it's conditioning too. All right. Is that all I need to tell you? Um, the prices, uh, the sale prices. Now, everything on her site is going to be really marked down as low as she can get it. Um, there's not going to be a code. Everybody can get the sale, but you're going to have to be quick, especially for the stuff that's selling out. So I recommend absolutely just go to the Facebook group and join it so that you can see what all there is. Go check out her website, look at the polishes, write down what you want and um, be quick because stuff that's going to be going out is going to be going out forever. And once it sells out, that's it. Um, there's another look at all of them. There's scapula. See, I can't say that. <laughs> Scalpel. <laughs> Scapula. Okay, Guileen. There is luminol. I need to turn my flash on. There is luminol. Soul beneficiary. No alibi. And I really hope that this sparkle comes across. I mean, it never does as much as what it is in life. Real life. Uh, this is DNA. And like I said, this one, I think it was a little more jelly than the rest. I really think that this would do best over um, a cream base or sponged on. AP negative. Oh, such a pretty red. And Murder Mama. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, thanks for joining me. Please stay tuned for a little Halloween fun from me and my family. Bye. What was that? That's coming out of Alex's room. What are you doing? Ah! <coughs> What's going on with Alex? Oh no! Come here. Run 
Benny! Alright, I made it to Casey's. I hope Lucas and her are okay. Um, the dogs are going crazy. What's going on? What's going on? Why are they barking like that? Where's mommy at? Why are you in here all by yourself? Where's she in here? Where's she at? <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no, not Lucas! That's not vicious. Or I mean, we just go and get To copy like Cujo. <laughs> oh no, not the dogs too. <laughs> he wants it. Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Oh boogie boogie boo!